Hi, this is Brent, uh, and this is a skilled YouTube channel. Today I'm with Ruby. Uh, Hi. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so, Ruby, I, I heard that you've just got into coding. Is that true? Um, I think you are a recent graduate of Flatiron. I would love to hear your experience. Um, maybe we'll start from the beginning. Um, okay, so I guess I'm somewhat new to coding in that I didn't start in. Um, in high school, like I, I wasn't really into the sciences. I was more interested in history, English, social sciences, and um, but my dad actually encouraged me to take a coding class. He bribed me with my first laptop, so I took <laughs> one. Um, and I just I wasn't interested. I didn't I did okay. I didn't do great, but um, after that I moved on and I went on to college where I thought I was going to major in international affairs. So I ended up in DC at GW. And uh, from there, I kind of decided I didn't want um, a government-related position, and I transferred into the business school, and I was kind of just drawn to more like startup-vibed companies and pursuits. And um, Yeah, that makes sense. I started my career going into law, and I was like, yeah, I think my mom wants me to be a lawyer, so I think I'll start with that, and then I end up in online advertising. So I totally get you there that it's uh, you never it's hard to make a decision your first year of college exactly what you're going to do for the rest of your life. So um, Yeah, exactly. I mean, I still am interested in the topics that I started off studying at college, and I moved international affairs to my minor as more oh, like cool. now I read books about the topics I was studying rather than um, pursuing them career-wise. But um, I had my first internship with a startup called Ride Amigos. Um, it was a they built transportation demand management products. Okay. Mouthful. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll just nod and say I understand what that is. But that okay, cool. It sounds cool. Yeah, it was actually it was really interesting. Um, and but what I was more interested in than the product was the way the company operated and that it was a product based company and that cool. it was small and that I got to work on a lot of different things um, as a business development intern. Um, and uh, the woman I was working for sort of, sort of um, encouraged me to pursue uh, like more technical fields in college. I was going into my sophomore year of college, and uh, that year I took the same coding class intro to Java programming. Um, and this time I actually did really well. I was really interested. However, I didn't feel comfortable like with my teacher or my classmates. They didn't want to work with me. They weren't interested in um, in my opinions or really like they didn't expect me to do well in the class almost. Oh, oh geez. Very okay, weird. yeah. Like That's it was very all strange, guys. yeah, right. It was all guys, they're all friends <laughs> with each other. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say, but yes, uh that makes sense, yes. Um, yeah. So I, I worked by myself and um I did really well and but I still decided that I wasn't going to change my major to coding. I just stayed in the business school and studied information systems. Um but that was kind of like what started it for me. That's how I, um, that's what sparked my interest. Oh, cool. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense that, I mean, it's good that you were willing to, you know, try and do something that you ended up being really good at. I think I remember you did write an article for the Skill website, and that was one thing that really caught my eye was like, oh, you tried to do something and you ended up being really good at it. Um, uh, like for me, that's probably one of the reasons I'm stuck with my job. I, again, I work at online advertising at Google and it was like oh I just feel like I you know I could probably do another job but I feel like I do good at this job so you know that's probably the job I should be in even though other things could interest me so um, so yeah so then uh, what happened after that did you attend uh, Flatiron? Um, yeah so I graduated um, May of 2018 with okay. my bachelor's from the business school uh, concentrating in information systems but I really was not interested in any oh, got it. Right. any jobs that were available. Actually, I knew before I was going to graduate that I wasn't interested in any of the jobs that would be available to me through my major. Um, and uh, after I had taken that coding class my sophomore year of college, I enrolled in an online um, intro to Ruby class oh, cool. uh, through Flatiron. 
my dad actually found it for me, as you can tell, he really pushed me <laughs> along the way throughout this process. Um, but I, I worked at my own pace. I really liked it. The instructors were really responsive and I enjoyed the curriculum. Um, and I didn't want to go back to formal school. I didn't want, oh, want got it. to spend more time um, in college. And uh, it was a quick and easy solution for me to uh, go to Flatiron. I already had experience with them. I liked them. I wanted to learn more. Um, and they had just opened a, I was going to go to New York, but around the time I graduated, they had just opened their first D DC location. It was one of the first branched out locations, I think. Cool. So um, I... Yeah, I actually don't know. I mean, I feel bad because Flatiron is a big partner of Skilled. I don't know mm -hmm. their physical location. So you actually, did you do online or you actually went to a location? I attended in, I, I did the online Ruby course um, while I was still in college. And then after I graduated, I immediately, like the month after, I immediately oh, cool. went into the um, into the in-person boot camp that they have at oh, their cool. DC location. They had only been open for three months, I think. Oh, so you're, so so what you're saying is you're one of the first students to attend that that location. That's cool. That must have been a cool experience. Um, yeah, it must have been a cool experience there. Yeah, I really grew while I was there. I went from being a couple of cohorts to like ten, I think, maybe more. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I said that you were new to coding, but yeah, I, I didn't know that you're actually been, it's been like years and things like that. Since I don't know. I mean, the thing is that <laughs> when I tried it in high school and like then again in college, like I wouldn't say that I was into it until sure. I, until my junior year of college. Like and anyone can take a coding class and it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, I was trying to remember if I took a coding class. I'm sure I took one and failed uh, sometime in high school and I, it just wasn't for me, so it's good that it's definitely, they're definitely too tough. Uh, I'm in sales now, which is a lot easier than uh, coding.